So let me start off with what we currently have. If you're an emerge request and you review the changes that are being made, you can see that there's a couple of comments on different lines. And if you open this one, you can see that there's no easy way to add a new discussion. So whenever people have different suggestions or even different comments to make, they have to do all of this in this one thread. So about a year ago, the issue was being opened and Tori did the first designs, which were incredibly helpful and really gave me a lot to work with. And a lot of this looked, let me zoom out to give you all a better overview, like this. And then um, priority was set to something else. This issue kind of went to the back burner a bit. And now one year later, I picked it up again. First had to um, update the designs to what's now different. There's a couple of slight changes, like for example, no gray area here anymore, as you can see. But while I reviewed all of the differences between what's here and what we currently have in the pattern library, something else that really stood out was how many borders we are using for all our discussions and threads. And this really bugged me more and more the more I looked at it. So I went ahead and made a couple of changes first to how discussions are currently being displayed. This is what we currently have as a normal discussion. There's one main message, three replies, and then the button for reply. This button also has a problem that it looks disabled and also looks kind of lost in here. So what I came up with is this version. I removed all of the borders between the individual replies and changed the design for how the reply is currently being displayed. This also works for when you expand it. And one nice feature that comes automatically with it is that as soon as you submit it, it will stay in the same place. Before, there was a slight difference. First, the profile picture had to come to its place and it would expand and you can see that now it's already at the place where it's going to stay. So taking this MVC for all our discussions and applying it to how we are going to change the design for multiple discussions for one line in merge requests, it's going to look like this. As soon as you open it, you can see the different discussions that are ongoing. You can see that you can either reply in here. You can see the different replies that are collapsed currently. You can expand them. If you expand them, it looks like this. And you can start an entirely new discussion as well, right from here. This is a very big overview and a couple of topics that we now went over. And I already um, talked about this topic a bit with Tori and with Alexis before because I wanted to get their opinion on making changes to discussions which are such an integral part and which not only um, involve the, the one issue that I've been working on here, but it involves the entire platform where we have discussions and where we have conversations. Any first feedback at all? Otherwise, I can also give a couple of points that other people have already commented on. I just have a question. Um, yes. So is what you're saying is that this conversational format will be replicated everywhere that this type of pattern exists. So I know issues would be an example of that. So it's not just gonna be on merge requests, it will also be on issues. I like seeing your head nod, that's wonderful. Um, and then just real quickly, I'll give you some positive feedback, which is um, 
the visual elegance of removing the borders is so nice. Thank you for addressing the boxes and boxes. No problem. And it's actually really interesting because what's great about this idea is that we can already now, with just a, just a couple of CSS adaptions, make this current design look like this. This is all possible within like just a couple of, of CSS changes, except for adding this profile picture here, but I'm sure this will also not be such a big problem. And as soon as we move for how we display threads and discussions, which already is in our instant sheet, and this is what we want to go with in pajamas, as soon as that's coming in, it will already be improved as well. So it works both for the short term, but also it's a preparation for the long term. I have a question, Marcel. So down below where you have the uh, text area, there's a button below that says start new discussion. Is that a current implementation that we have where we have the call to action open and ready to be clicked on even if you don't put any text in the area? That's sort uh, of confusing me. Like it, it seems like an active button ready to be clicked um, even if there's no text. Yeah, that's correct. Um, currently for these kinds of text areas, we disable the button. That won't be a problem. We can totally do that. Gotcha. I have a couple quick comments. The first of which starts with the word commented. So I think to the right, when I'm looking at Mark Johnson, at M. Johnson commented two months ago in this, in this wire. Um, so here we say commented, commented, commented over and over when it seems like that's just implied. I noticed on the right that had been removed. Is that something we're planning to do is take away that what arguably could be considered unnecessary? That's a very interesting point. And it's actually something where there's currently a discrepancy between what's implemented, and that's what you can see on the right, and what we are planning to do according to the pattern library and the instant sheet that we currently have. What's to the left is 99% of what's currently in the pattern library. I haven't changed much except okay. for applying it to this context and adding the visual changes that I've made for um, the boxes and for the reply field. So for this question, it should be a general discussion that we are going to have about how we display discussions. And I think this should also take place in the pattern library for sure, yeah. I have a related, and it probably also applies to the pattern library, but a, a related comment. I, I don't mean to do the pun thing. It's just happening naturally. Um, progressive disclosure, right? So you've inspired me by removing the lines because they're not necessary. What about the actions? So why can't it be that when I hover over a particular comment, then I see the action icons? But like, do we need them always visible like that? Because in theory, I'm gonna hover over the comment thread and then if they, they're showing over whatever I'm actively on, and it just feels, you know, our pages have a lot of content. And so it's thoughts like this that might be able to have like broad impact and simplify. Exactly. So I don't know yeah. if that's been considered, if there's an issue that was open and closed two and a half years ago, it's a thought. <laughs> no, I think it's a great point. And I also already talked with Tori about maybe moving the developer tech inside of the popover for the user. Um, this is totally something where I feel like we could have a lot of impact, where we could make things a lot cleaner in a lot of places at the same time. Um, I think these are all great ideas and we should totally open an issue for how we display discussions and comments in general. Because, yeah, as you mentioned, there's a lot of ideas and there's a lot of potential. Okay, thanks. Shane takes note to open issue. <laughs> Thank you. I have a 
quick question. Um, it, I really like the indentation that you have on the MR um, kind of version of it. And I'm wondering if that's being considered for just issues in general as well. Um, and I understand that on the MRs, it's like one of the reasons why you have that is because you can have multiple discussions like on the same line of code or whatever it is. Um, but I find that just like visually that would really help even with issues just because um, even though you like you don't have the same use case. Um, yeah, sorry if I missed it. It's <laughs> no, no, it's, um, it's perfect. Yeah, um, so I think I think on issues uh, like what you have there, um, I, I just think that would that would be so nice because um, so often you look at it and you're like, is is the comment that I'm looking at like especially if something gets really long, yeah. you're like, is the comment I'm looking at actually part of a thread or not? Um, Absolutely. I really like that use of indentation. I 100% agree and I can't take any credit for this idea because this was all already in the pattern library and Chowi mentioned before this was actually Annabelle's idea so she really should get a lot of credit for that because I also think this is a big problem right now where we can't really make sure which comment belongs to which conversation, which, which discussion and this is all part because we are using so many different boxes. Every time we use a new box we remove context again. And so, yeah, I, I totally agree with you. It's completely unintentional too. When you're, you, when you have a thread of replies and then somebody starts something new that they want to add to it, yet it's a new comment. Totally understand. Yeah. Yeah. I would also talk with uh, Annabelle who worked most recently on this because I noticed that there are lines between each system note here. And I think, uh, we, I mean, we did get rid of them on the actual site. So I would just have a conversation. I don't think she's on the call right now, but have a conversation with her about um, what is the newest design versus what is in the pattern library and what is built. Because I think it's all kind of mixed up right now. So it'd be good to kind of get what is the actual thing, get that into the pattern library. And so everyone's on the same page. Absolutely. Yeah, for sure. Great point. Um, one issue Chauri also already mentioned in a previous call that we had was that there's going to be a couple of problems here for how we do mobile view, especially around this area. And one first idea that we had was moving the box to the left and aligning it with the profile picture, but then the profile picture would also not line up with the other profile picture. So if somebody has a great idea or if somebody knows a case in our interface where we are facing a similar problem and we, all, where we already have a good solution, please let me know. Any other thoughts, feedback, ideas, problems that you can see? Great, so this was really cool. Thank you all. I don't know whether there's someone else presenting. When I started, I think there was nobody. Let's see whether some, somebody signed up. Nope, not yet. So as long as there's nothing else, that's it. Thank you all. Great job, Marcel. Thank you so much. You did a great job of giving us context and it's obvious you given this a lot of thought. So really enjoyed seeing it. Thank you. Thanks, Marcel. Thanks, Thanks. all of you. <laughs>